So right after drawing everything on SOLIDWORKS, submitting it to the palette maker contest, so it's about time for me to print what we have drawn. So visiting my favorite 3D printing, so I give them the job to print my two covers. So both of these are made out of ABS material. So I told them that I want it to withstand high heat, especially heat coming off from the graphics card. Sometimes it's really hot, especially when you full throttle it. It's something that you should let it withstand high heat. So printing each one of them took quite some time. And all in all, both of them took me roughly eight and a half hours to finish printing. The printer sure took its time. So all you need here is two substance of sandpaper, substance 100 and substance 400. 100 for the rough one and 400 for the smooth one. So putting it to work, you have to sand it. So I would suggest that you put on your face mask since this is ABS material, so it's not friendly to your lungs. So sanding this one took me quite some time as well. I have to finish all of the edges, all of the imperfect sides here. I need to sand it to perfection as much as I can. I also use some grinders just to finish some surface over here and therefore it's a lot smoother this time around. And first coating, I sprayed on some flat white paint on this one to make it smoother. And next, it's time to get dirty. I have some of this metallic paint that I bought from Armored Komodo. These are the same materials that you can use also to paint your Gundam model kit. And my color here is also based from Freedom Gundam. So I have metallic blue, metallic red, and metallic yellow gold. You need some fine brush and of course this one. Painting took me several days as you need to paint this for roughly more than three coating, maybe four coating at the very least. And I also bought some vinyl metallic stickers to give this a more solid color. So all you need is a precision cutter and of course some patience. And sticking on this surface is not that easy. There's a lot of trial and errors and hence this is the end product. And there you go, here's my final product and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And you too, you can print your own graphics card. And of course, I urge you guys to also give it a try. Design your own graphics card from Palette. It's really fun. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a sub and I'll see you on the next one. And so, I'm Parasa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watch out! Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.